Mark, Shane, you're very welcome to Cork Show FM. Thanks a million for coming thanks, in. Rory, thanks for having us. Thanks uh, for having us now. Mark, I might start with yourself. It's been a whirlwind for a few months. Have you had time to kind of, I suppose, take it all in and kind of reflect of what, everything that's gone in? I uh, yeah, well, sure. Like, I suppose time goes slowly and we did an awful amount of training there in the last while. So uh, we had a couple of races there. Uh, we had four international races so far with three World Cups mm. and then the World or the European Championships and we're just um, looking at the, the end goal now which is the World Champs so we're just training away we've got a nice long block of training before that so mm. looking forward to it Shane have you been able to kind of reflect on your success? Um, I suppose at the moment like like Mark said we're concentrating on the World Championships but um, I suppose we have after each regatta we'd analyse our performance and I suppose throughout the year we feel that we're getting better um, Lucerne I thought was our best race that was our our last international race, so mm. um, I guess so a little, but uh, it's like almost holding your breath. You're in the middle of the season. You're just <laughs> waiting for that end result because that's going to be the big one. So you can't celebrate too much, really. Yeah. You just have to keep the head down, and work hard, you know. Mark, can I talk us through the the success you've had in the medals you've won over the last couple of months? Can you even remember them all at this point? <laughs> um, some of them were a while ago. Um, all I remember is the fine weather, but um, <laughs> uh, we. We had a great all run at him. Some of them uh, weren't as uh, ideal leading into the preparation, but I suppose, you know, even when we looked back, uh, as Shane said, uh, the Lucerne regatta now, I found that was a tricky enough one just because mm. of the heat and there's no air con in the room. And I suppose coming from Ireland and, you know, the heat was a bit of a shock. And Why, how hot was it? Or was it more of the humidity? <clears throat> it was. I remember one evening, it was the Saturday evening, uh, we just finished racing, I was walking back with Dominic, and it's our coach, and it started raining, and then I loved it. <laughs> I just stood up, and you <laughs> see all the Swiss guys, yes. and they can't cope with the rain. Really? They run for the shelter, and the I was just, shot down I was just <laughs> looking into the sky, and we didn't complain once about it. So... I didn't complain for about two weeks after that when I came back to Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> the rain was gorgeous. The, yeah, the heat the heat was tough. Like so, like I was just saying there, you know, I found it very, very hard to sleep over it, you know. So mm. ideally, you'd want to be sleeping before these regattas. And generally, yeah, yeah. we'd have no problem. It's not <laughs> nervous or anything. It's just it was so hot. Yeah. So, um, like, that's not ideal uh, preparation. But sure, I keep saying that I you're nice and fresh. And Switzerland is very expensive and accommodation there is you know it's very expensive yeah. as well so it's hard to get the best hotels over there so we just make do what we get you know? so you had no air conditioning in the room so that's no. fine we had, I had a uh. fan alright I <laughs> hugged the fan uh. and it was just going b- around by me but Mark having, uh, a, having a box room and barely two beds <laughs> <laughs> it's it all was gla- luxury really to us <laughs> and the flies <laughs> it's uh, all it's glamour really so lads yeah. isn't yeah. it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, does that affect your performance then on the water obviously it does um, well, I'm sure it does, but I'd say we still put up with it better than anyone else, really. You kind of put it back to the back of your mind, really. Mm. Yeah, you, as well as you, you get on and perform, uh, mm. you do the best with what you got. What was your best performance over the summer? What do you think, Shay? I think it was that Lucerne regatta, and it was pure and utter that we kind of had this, had this fear. We, had, we hadn't lost the regatta, mm. you know, all year, and um, I just... Pressure was it. on. It was almost like Europeans as well. We went into it, and we were very kind of, I suppose aggressive throughout the race and I I think that works very well for us and that um yeah it was definitely coming into the line I, I remember looking back and seeing all the other boats and I just I was like thank thank God you know that we <laughs> yeah that we came away with the win so I think that was our best performance yeah Mark with the pre- or, uh, with, I suppose the exposure that rowing has gotten over the last year 18 months is, do you find there's more pressure on you heading into events like this um not really no um like you can only do the best you can so um I'd say, like we're not we're not really going to be dwelling on how much pressure is going to be I on us. The pressure that is on us is what we put on ourselves, mm. really. So it's all about coping individually with that, you know. So it hasn't really changed at all. So not at all. Not well, really, like, no. It it could get to you if you let it, but um, yeah, we'll just go out there and do do our gig and let that be that. Mm. Talk to us, lads, about what a, a typical, I suppose, training week would involve for you. It'd be Monday to Sunday. Uh, no day off twice a day and then three times uh, twice a week uh, the days we have weights so Jesus, that's intense isn't it um, yeah it's hard to fit mass around that <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're well used to it are you we are I suppose we're at it all our lives really and every long. year we can add a bit more onto it mm. so the trend's getting yeah. trend load is getting more I suppose yeah. but 
you have to kind of increase the volume to get more adaption and then you're trying to row harder for longer for a longer period of time so mm. just try and uh, get fitter basically so develop the engine Excellent I, I suppose with all the success the Skib Rowing Club has had I'd imagine the club is hopping with all like the new members and stuff joining Definitely underage yeah um, I, I remember hearing reports in October um, when they were asking new members to join up that there was cars parked away along the road and there was two abreast in places and yeah. there's a narrow road <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah Sunday morning is hopping with youngsters definitely and um, there's a new school left opening in Skibreen as well so they're I know the own club is working with them, mm. uh, trying to get new new members in. Mark, that must be great to see this was the next generation coming through as well. Absolutely, sure. <clears throat> you know, we looked back on uh, the older guys, they would have really led the way for us. Um, when we were young and when we were the juniors, there was a couple of Olympians there. And, you know, there would have been Timmy, Huge, Rich. They all would have been very, very good. And you'd always be looking up to them, trying to beat them and whatever, so... It's it's nice to kind of uh, be in the kind of best position of the best athletes in the club now and trying to other other skip athletes trying to beat us and mm. trying to up the ante really. You and know? are the kids coming up to you for autographs and all that kind of crack? At times, yeah. yeah. We get us. We had our national championships out in Inishkara, um I suppose two weeks ago now and mm. there was a lot of kids taking photos and... Um, is that unusual for you to go from like you know just being regular athletes to like kids coming up asking you for photos? I suppose I don't know. I feel quite lucky in that I I saw Gary and Paul last year and they've been all winter. You know we go anywhere and people will be coming up to them. Oh, I've never met a celebrity before and <laughs> taking <laughs> selfies and or Snapchat. And, and, yeah. and, and um, yeah, I feel maybe after Europeans this year, I felt kind of started maybe in Skibreen and it, um, people would start taking photos of me now as well and. An odd autograph here and there, so mm. I suppose I was kind of um, used to it. You'd almost them. be weary at the start of it, thinking people are trying to scam you. <laughs> <laughs> Get your autograph what for do you want? <laughs> yeah, like, a contract. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to find the, the autograph for the checkbook, like. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had any like kind of weird run-ins with fans or anything like that, or has it all just been quite civil? I know the fans. Uh, they've been very. Whatever. They've been very good. They've been very good and everyone's very positive towards it. So we haven't That's drawn the wrong crowd yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <anyway. laughs> uh, speaking of the Europeans, how proud a moment was it for you to be standing on the top of the podium with the Irish flag straight around you? Oh, that was incredible. You I can't thought. get better than that, no. really, you know. Mm. <clears throat> I think it's what we race for, really, you know, just yeah. to have the, the green, white and orange over our heads mm. and around us and below us and above us. <laughs> Anywhere at all, we'll try and put a tricolour if we can. Yeah. Um, I suppose that race was quite, quite unique because we <coughs> we went out like the clappers and we just kept going and kept going and <coughs> we just we didn't really ease off and coming into the last period um, I just kept telling Shane you know just we'll keep it nice and calm and relaxed mm. and just don't catch a crab so a crab is kind of don't catch crabs <laughs> uh, it's like when, the, when the blade goes into the water at the wrong angle yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you could turn over the boat so and they'd slow down the I ball as well. Looking back at that race, I nearly laugh every time I see it. I remember the first time we watched it, it was come back in the bus and Paul uh, got it up in it and he Paul and he was watching it in it and he started laughing. It was because generally you take about thirty seven strokes per minute mm. in the middle of the race and maybe at the start you take maybe forty strokes, but I think we didn't go below forty four or something. We <laughs> really? took as many strokes <laughs> as we could and it just looked chaotic. It, it was just like Order, you know, is proper, you know, the organized, organized chaos. Yeah, organized really, yeah. chaos, really. You had a comfortable yeah. win in the end, didn't you? Know? We did, yeah, and it's all just trying to keep it clean at the end so we didn't mess it up. Mm. Um, so, uh, yeah, that, that was nice, all right, to be fair, you know. It was probably the biggest one, biggest win we've had yet uh, together because I suppose we've been on the road now quite a while. I've been with Shane for a few years and <clears throat> we came fourth at the World Champs. Uh, Last year and then seventh year before and then I was with a different pair's partner before that for mm. a year or two and then another one before that but I've made them all quit and uh, <laughs> Shane's been the so, robust fella to <laughs> stick around with it. He loves the abuse so <laughs> keep giving it to him. <laughs> He's not disagreeing with that. Just <laughs> don't no. open your mouth and you get on fire. He's on work hard. Yeah. And that was a great weekend as well with Gary and Paul getting a medal, Denise getting a medal as well. Yeah, it couldn't have worked out better. Oh, was, it was great. I was delighted. Like, we were the first. The club. Yeah, we were the first boat to cross the line and then 
um, we were up in the podium and we saw Denise coming in in second, so mm. it was fantastic, you know. Yeah, uh, it was brilliant. And then I suppose, uh, and then seeing the boys a couple yeah. of hours later, yeah, mm. uh, it was brilliant. And er, we really milked it anyway. So we had a great whole time over have there. We to do it, I suppose. We did. Yeah. We were away for the whole month of May too. We had a regatta at the start. Mm. Then we went on a two-week training camp. And so we were all working well together. We all knew that we were kind of in good shape, I suppose, in form going into the Europeans. So. I suppose the homecoming then when you got back to school was cr- oh, good. crazy. Yeah. Oh, they went berserk. The burning, the everything, <laughs> yeah. Uh, our fair play to Dave Long. He went up and collected us and he brought us all back down home safely. And mm. um, <clears throat> I mean, like, no other country would get that kind of no. homecoming. Not at all, like, you know. And um, I suppose, yeah, all being from the same town as well. Um, Skibreen are always very good, but... The other villages coming down the road, they're also like they all have their bonfires and everything out. So mm. they just tried to get the pubs open later. <laughs> 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 we were we got a little bit delayed, but that suited them fine. Did you have time to celebrate, or were you just back training almost straight away? Jeez, we were nearly back training straight away. To be honest, because we had to get it in two weeks, mm. and we couldn't take. The I remember off actually, the gas, really. um, RT News, uh, they came out to Church Cross. That's kind of our parish, and we were inside and we were having our dinner and. We heard anyway that um, Dominic Casey is a clamp down. He wants the lads on the water at half seven in the morning. And we're like, Jesus, the first we hear about this now. So mm. he did, he did, uh, he said, come on, back to work now. And so, Actually, speaking of Dominic, trend. talk to me about the importance that he's had in both of your careers. Um, I suppose he was our club coach. Um, you know, Gary and Paul's dad coached me for a long time. And then Dominic and himself were coaching for both of us. But Dominic was always... Uh, Mark's coach and um, all the way up really mm. um, well I sp- yeah so he um, got an Irish job this year then with Ron Ireland it was about time yeah. <laughs> and then uh, he took us on so we're delighted to have him now this year and that you know it's going from strength to strength really with him yeah uh, he's been very good to us you know um, mm. I suppose it's always nice going back to the home coach and <clears throat> uh, he's gained a, an awful lot of experience uh over the last while and using the different support staff and mm. uh, we quite like his approach and philosophy to training so you know when there is complete buying you know we're uh, we're looking forward to it now you know mm. I think it's important to know too he like he doesn't slow down our fun that we have when we go away to regattas we have great fun and I yeah. think that's very important that means In we're sport. late to training all the time <laughs> <laughs> but when we do get on the water he's very serious and we're very serious but he doesn't slow down or he doesn't say stop, you know, having fun and all this. So yeah. I think that's very important, yeah. really. It's where a lot of coaches went wrong in the past, really. Uh, just that being all focused. They're yeah. too military yeah. style, you know. Yeah. We're from West Cork. Just <laughs> leave us off. like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's very good. Like, we'd be drinking coffee for an awful long time in the morning, just lounging about. <laughs> and uh, It's kind of like what I do in here. <laughs> <laughs> He'd give out for the first half an hour and then after that you get going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, Olympics in three years Mark I was reading an interview with Kieran McCarthy in the Southern Star saying that they've changed the kind of they've changed the Olympics so the, the lightweight fours is gone is it? Uh, yeah that's gone now out of the programme so um, You're disappointed with that? <clears throat> not at all really I I was never in the boat um, I tried uh, myself and Shane we tried to qualify uh, the boat last year but uh, the, the crew wasn't strong enough as a, a unit mm-hmm. to do it so we quit it early yeah 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 um, and, you know, when I haven't competed in it before, I don't have any uh, special requests to to do it. So it, it doesn't affect me at all. Uh, I'm not going to cry over spilled I suppose milk. You, yeah, you have to just get on with these things. I suppose it is. It was a very exciting race at the Worlds or all the events throughout mm. the year. We'd always look forward and watching that one, but um, they decided to cut it anyway. But it's a bit ridiculous. But maybe in time we'll kind of see that it was the right choice or mm. whatever. But... Um, there's lots of other options out there for Olympics. Including you know. heavyweight, is it? Including yeah, heavyweight, yeah. yeah. Um, and we I even s- tested out our speed earlier on in the year at one of the mm. World Cups and sure we're well up there and <clears throat> we're still, we could still pack on a few a few pounds that would be mm. uh, quite key throughout the middle of the race, yeah. racing the big lads, but they're, they're not that special at all, you know. Yeah. So. It's not about the size you are, it's the size of your heart, they <laughs> yeah. say. So. so what would it involve, just putting on an extra couple of kilos and stepping up, basically? Yeah. Um, I suppose if you look at times too this year, we'd be kind of trying to judge our times off. Um, the heavyweights, we're not, a, you know, maybe a few seconds off, uh, maybe 10 seconds. You're talking 10 seconds. It might be a bit, but mm. who knows, more time in the boat. Um, you know, all these things play a factor in it. 
of mm. getting faster. So yeah. I'm sure we get take a good a while crack to start them. winning medals there, but at least at least we know we'll be well up in the top six. And is that a decision you'd have to make fairly soon, or is it down the road? Or we'll figure it out after the end of the season. Mm. We've got our yeah. goal set on the end of the season, and then we'll we'll take what comes in. You know. And what is the plan for the rest of the season? Win the world championships. You nice. know. Yeah. So yeah. simple as go out there and do our best and. Leave it out there. I'm sure we'll come away with something, and I and it'll be very shiny. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to Spain now in the train can, mm. 28th of August. So, um, hopefully we'll climatize for the heat over in Florida. I think that'll be very good. Um, yeah, the humidity humidity is meant to be quite high up there. So, um, <clears throat> at least Spain will prepare us for mm. for that now. So, hopefully things will go all right over there and I'm sure they will have air conditioning <laughs> I was just about to say that's, <laughs> the that's the only condition you have going abroad now is yeah. air uh, boys it's been a pleasure talking to you thanks very much indeed thanks for, for coming right. in to us and uh, no doubt we'll be chatting to you very soon right thanks, thanks. Chat to you soon. Bye.